Hello everybody, John Spilsado here from the Arizona Home Group at Keller Williams Snore and Living. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Well, I'm here to talk about market conditions and market conditions are still pretty crazy. I'm not going to get into that again. We all know that inventory is down and prices have been going up. But I wanted to get a little bit into why that's happening. Okay, so Phoenix is a destination state. People are migrating into Phoenix from all over the country. Uh, we've got retirees coming in and we've got high tech jobs that are coming in. We've got people coming from all over. We had over 82,000 people come into the Phoenix metro area last year. We were number one out of all major metropolitan areas. Uh, the milk and Institute is a company that rates uh, top 10 cities every year uh, for best performing cities and we've actually become one of the elite top 10. Last year we were 12, now we're at number 7, which means that this is a destination state that offers a lot between affordability factor and for lower taxes and for jobs. So we are now in uh, elite status with the Milken Institute. It's pretty cool. Uh, but this is not a recent phenomenon. We've had high tech jobs coming here for decades. It all started in Motorola in 1952 in South Scottsdale and that first plant was built on McDowell and that really spurned growth in the South Scottsdale from the 1950s and 60s. Um, that actually plant is now owned by General Dynamics. They've been there about 12 years now and they've actually, interestingly enough, created equipment that's actually was sold off to NASA. NASA is using that for their Mars probe which just landed and it's going to start to transmit audio information from the surface of Mars and that happened in Scottsdale. It's pretty cool. Uh, but the pattern continued. So Honeywell came to uh, North Glendale uh, in, in the mid 80s and they kind of grew that whole Arrowhead Ranch area. Now we can see how much of a presence Honeywell has here in the Phoenix metro area. Uh, Sumitomo Semiconductor in uh, North Phoenix, the Desert Ridge area, they came in in 1996 and really tapped into that Desert Ridge area. But really the big tech center has always been down in Ocotillo and Chandler. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of companies down there, but the big players of course are Intel. Uh, they built their first plant in 1985 um, and then a second plant in 93 and they just did it like an eight, million, uh, $8 billion renovation and expansion of that plant. So that tech corridor down in Chandler has been fantastic, a great economic driver and Chandler's done a great job uh, taking care of that. Uh, but now as we head into, uh, as the city grows out, you know, Goodyear uh, in the west and East Mesa in the east, we've got Eastmark here, our, our uh, partner Tiffany lives out in Eastmark, and we've got Apple, right? So Apple built a $2 billion uh, data center out there It's in 2013 and 2014. And of course, where you've got Apple, you've got Google. Uh, they just uh, started a, a project out there along that Elliott Tech Quarter. That's going to be another uh, billion dollar, 750,000 square foot data center. So we got a little bit of Cupertino East over here. Um, but let's look at the West because this is where the growth is going to be really big for the next uh, decade. So Microsoft, 277 acres down in Goodyear, right by Goodyear Airport. All right, we've got Amazon, uh, 90, uh, 90 acres here. About a, it's gonna be about a $20 million facility. You can see all the distribution centers that Google has here. Um, they've actually got quite a presence and they're gonna continue to grow. It's one of the reasons why you can order something that, uh, this morning and get it this afternoon here in Phoenix because we've got all these distribution centers. But the two big ones here are uh, Samsung. This is gonna be 1,100 square foot um, auction that's going on and they're saying it's gonna be for Samsung. Samsung Samsung, they're probably going to end up spending somewhere about uh, 17 billion uh, for this parcel. It's going to be a huge facility. And then as you go up the 303 and come over to the 17, we have the real big one that happened back in December, and that was Taiwan Semiconductor. That's a 12 billion dollar project um, on a 100 acre parcel, and there's going to be a lot of revenue coming in, tax revenue, and jobs that are coming in in this area. So at the end of the day. Uh, these tech companies are coming, they're leaving California, they're leaving less, uh, less tax friendly environments and they're coming here. Some of them are going to Texas, but more and more Phoenix is winning out in the tech, tech sector. So there you have it guys. If you guys are looking to buy or looking to sell, feel free to reach out. Uh, you know where to find us. The market is hot, but we have a lot of experience negotiating with these multiple bid offer situations and we've been able to get our buyers into some houses. So don't miss out. Reach out to us. Let's get you into something before houses start to spin out completely out of control. If you're a seller, give us a call. We'll figure out a way to get that house sold, but also to get you something without making you homeless. <laughs> so once again, John Spasato from the Arizona Home Group at Keller Williams. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Spring training is coming around the corner and we'll see you in March. Take care.